start this court, we will begin with Chapter 1 about test automation objective. Not only for tester or developer, but also for people who participate in the software development process, it is important to know the typical purposes, potential benefits, as well as the possible risk of test automation. Now let's get to some basic concept. In software testing, test automation is one or more of the following tasks, using tools to control and set up preconditions, executing tests, and then compare the outcome with the expected result. Remember, when applying test automation, objective may vary from each team based on their real scenarios and needs. Before getting more in-depth, spend five seconds thinking about what people use test automation for. You're right! Among those purposes, here are three common objectives that most teams define when applying test automation. First, test automation improves the efficiency of testing by supporting manual testing activities throughout the testing process. It helps your team reduce the burdens of repetitive work, such as running regression tests when changes appear. Thus, it frees you to design new tests or explore the product on production. Second, the test automation automates activities that cannot be executed manually. For example, adding 1,000 entries to your database for performance testing is a pain to do manually. Furthermore, test automation increases the liability of testing. For a better understanding, imagine yourself as a tester who needs to test the login form. If the process of testing the login form is done the same way each and every time, then the reliability of the process will remain constant over time. So by writing one automated test script, you can test your login form in multiple environments with different scenarios in time, hence increasing the reliability of the application under tests. Now you've discovered how test automation helps you achieve your testing ultimate goal. Simply acquiring a tool does not guarantee success. Each new tool introduced to an organization will require effort to achieve real and lasting benefit. There are potential benefit and opportunity with the use of tools in testing, but there are also risks. So let's walk through some of the outstanding benefit that your team will gain when applying test automation. So at first, test automation comes into play to give early and frequent feedback about the software quality. As the tests are run by tools, you can now also eliminate the risk of including biases or subjective evaluation. In addition, using automated tools reduce human effort in real-time, remote, or parallel tests. As a result, more tests can be run faster. For instance, do you know that a unit test can only run within milliseconds with the assistance of test automation? Last but not least, test automation enhances the consistency and repeatability for the fact that tests are executed by the tools in the same orders and in the same frequency. For instance, you may apply nightly build to run regression testing or sanity testing on staging or production. Do keep in mind that a successful plan lies solely on how software development teams utilize test automation to maximize productivity and mitigate the risk that may occur. Everything has two sides, so does test automation. Beside the advantages, there are many concerns when using tools to support testing. So let me take you through this part. First, the time, cost, and effort for the initial introduction of the tools may be underestimated. For example, your team may need guidance from external automation experts for setup and training. To achieve significant and continuing benefit for the test automation process, you may also need to change your current testing process, and not to mention to make some continuous improvement throughout your tool's implementation process. Another problem occurs when the version control of the test asset may be neglected since your production code does not fit with the test automation code. I know you may feel overwhelmed right now, but hang on, we'll still have the last two important risks to pay attention. There are a wide range of market offerings, from open source automated testing tools to free and commercial version. With the open source tools, your team may face the problem when it is suspended, since there are no longer updates or new features added in. With the commercial tools, the vendor may provide a poor response for support upgrades, and defect fixes. Further details about these types of tools is coming soon in the later chapter. So to summarize, Chapter 1 introduced the objective, benefit, and risk that you need to focus on when evaluating and selecting a test automation solution.